Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to The Sims 3 drama. Look at Miss Moira here. She is contemplating her entire life choices. So today is a pretty exciting day. We are going to find out if Moira decides to um, stay with Derek, Dustin, Derek's her child. We're going to decide if, or we're going to find out if Moira decides to stay with Dustin or to leave him because um, once this is up she'll kind of make that decision but what is going on today um, I actually don't even know oh it's snowflake day oh my god cute you were supposed to feed him what are you doing put Liam in the high chair um, but yeah everyone is kind of just getting up and getting their day started I think I might have Derek even though everyone's already going to have eaten by the time he gets down here I think I'm going to have him just make some waffles just because. Um, Kennedy is over here actually like taking care of her child, which is crazy. Like she doesn't do that, but she's doing it. Also, Moira is over here talking to Daniel, which if you guys don't remember, Daniel is Spencer's biological father um, and Moira is the only one who knows that. As far as anyone else in the world is concerned, it is Dustin's baby. Um, and that's kind of what she's talking to Daniel about is like, she's pretty much telling Daniel it's his kid right now just to see how um, he's going to react. I'm going to have Dustin just work from home. I think I might, hello, sorry, I am still like, I'm at the tail end of a sickness. So if I sniffle a lot or if my voice sounds a little odd, that is why. Um, but then let's go ahead and put Liam back upstairs. I actually want to age Liam up pretty soon. Um, I'll probably do that <sighs> maybe on Friday or maybe on, oh, maybe tomorrow because Derek will be home. I don't know. We'll see. I'll either do it tomorrow before Kennedy has to go to work or I'll do it on Friday before, um, Dustin or Derek what I'll do it tomorrow before Kennedy goes to work or maybe I'll do it Friday before Derek goes to work we'll see though we'll we'll figure it out um, but we're just gonna come over here and kind of get our day started check ourselves out gussy ourselves up is this TV broken it is does anyone have the repair skill well it definitely wouldn't be her okay he does. So after he makes breakfast, he will go ahead and clean that up. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of excited to see, like, if Moira decides to stay with Dustin, if she decides to leave him, like, what that whole vibe is going to be, just because that's going to determine um, a lot of what happens, um, what happens next, like, what happens when, basically, is if she decides to stay with him or not. Um, they are... Most definitely 100% going to end up divorced by the end of this series. It's basically just kind of when it's going to happen. Is it going to happen, you know, in 17 hours? Or is Dustin going to choose to do it? Because Moira does have a decision to make on if she wants to stay with him or not. But Dustin also has that same decision to make. Um, because he is very much so in love with Kennedy. So... Yeah, there's a lot of choices that need to be made, but at this moment in time, that piano is so loud. See, this is why, like, I love the instruments, but it's just so obnoxious. Um, at this moment in time, Dustin believes that Spencer is his child, so he is kind of, you know, I'm going to stay with her and I'm going to make this work. Uh, because we have a newborn baby together and Dustin has always been the one who pushed family and Moira was the one who's like I don't want kids like I guess we can have the one which is where Derek came from but um, Dustin is the one who always pushed having a family so uh, when Moira got pregnant that kind of you know pushed her can you not stand inside of them like that I hate when they do that um, that kind of pushed Justin to want to stay with her. Okay, go back to playing on that, but don't stand inside of it. Thank you. I'm going to have you come downstairs so you can eat breakfast. I actually think um, Dustin's the only one who ate already, so that's, that's good. 
So we'll have everybody come eat. Let's see, how red is she? Oh yeah, her and Moira are the worst of the worst. Ugh, awful. I love it though. Okay, let's put your breakfast down. It's like 11 o'clock. Come on. Dune. Oh, also you need to stop that too because you're gonna come over here and eat. So grab a plate. Are you already grabbing your plate? Perfect. You come grab a plate. And do I want to throw a gift giving party? Mm, like I kind of do because I want presents, but also like they don't really have anyone to invite. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll have him just throw a party and invite like one person just so the family can get gifts. You know, I think that makes sense. And then you'll come over here and repair the TV. Moira, stop. Okay, we're gonna do, not a juice kegger, a gift giving party, 1 p.m., casual. And we'll, in, oh, you know what? We'll invite Alex, because we need to age her up anyways. And then same thing with Jen, we need to age her up. Um, and I think that's it. You know, we're not necessarily throwing the party to invite people. We're throwing the party so that the family gets the gifts and then we can age those two Sims up because they really need to age up. Girl, that is the wrong, the wrong spot. Look at her. She hates Kennedy so much. She's like, I'm gonna leave my waffles over there and I'm gonna come sit by my son. Can I not? Who is like touching on it? Why can't I move these? Oh my God. Go eat your damn waffles. Oh, oh, because that bitch was trying to put them away. I see now, I see. Okay, so let's go put these away. Oh wow, you really just left him there to shit, him, shit his pants and not even care about him. Go get him. You think he's your baby, so go take care of him. I hope we get the gift pile. That was kind of the whole reason of being here. Why don't you just come sit? Like, I really, I do not care about you at all today, Kennedy. Put Spencer back in his crib, and then you'll come sit right next to her. Be a little sus. Just, I don't know why you're doing the dishes. We literally have a maid. We literally have a maid. Come over here and take a shower before everyone shows up. I'm guessing nobody's going to show up. We have paparazzi. Love that. Kennedy, are you on your way over? Okay. Oh my gosh. He really can't get to it because of the stupid TV stand. That is so annoying. All right. I guess she's scooting on over. Um, let's go ahead and compliment his party. And, and gossip with him. Um, oh, there's my gift pile. Okay, good. All right, so Jen is here. I want him to come and, I love how she sets it on the ground, beautiful. I want him to come and talk to her a little bit because they haven't really, their relationship is very, very low. Um, so let's ask about her day. Um, enthuse about the wedding, you know, talk about your engagement and how excited you are for it. I love how they're just putting it on the ground outside. So cute. Can you, are they gonna talk through the door? They are, I love that. I cannot wait to get them in the new house, you guys. <laughs> I am so excited. All right, and then let's tell her a funny story. Make a silly face. Um, and gossip with her. Girl, go pee. Like, why do these animals do this to themselves? Go eat. You come over here and eat. Okay, I just want them to chat a little bit, and then I will call everyone to... Um, let's go ahead and turn this on. Girl, why you want, why you yawning? Oh, actually, I need to... Um, Take her into 
Prieta sim really quickly because I don't want to have like a birthday party for them because that's so extra. So I'm going to pull both of them into create a sim and age them to young adults real fast. All right, you guys. So I did age both Alex and Jen up into young adults. And then I did um, just pick their hairstyle because that's the most important thing you're going to see. Um, I didn't do all of their clothes or anything. Just like I said, the hairstyle because that's the important part. That's what you see in this little box up here. Um... So yeah, we're just going to, oh, and I move them inside, obviously, as you can see. Um, but we're just going to have them chat a little bit more. And then I will go ahead and, um, oh my gosh, I don't care about being invited to the freaking parties. Uh, but yeah, I'll have them chat a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and start this gift giving party. But I want to have you come over here and dance. And I actually want you guys to slow dance together. I think that would just make it like super awkward. Um, especially because <laughs> Moira knows. Like Moira knows everything. Girl, stand up. I swear to God. Boy, do not go for a book. Oh my gosh. Okay. S go slow dance together. You guys are going to chat. I'm going to drag his bladder up a little bit because I want them to keep chatting. Um, so let's make a promise to protect her because I think that is really, oh, okay. Someone decided to open the gifts. Never mind. It had been too long. We have to open the gifts. That's one thing I hate is, oh, I learned that she's brave. Okay, cute. She's ambitious and brave. Um, I do just want to say when I age them up, I did have to pick another trait and a lifetime wish for them. I might, um... Alex isn't really a part of the story, but Jen is going to be more a part of the story than anything. So I did randomize the trait as best I could, and then I picked um, a lifetime wish that I think best suited the traits she had. So we're all fighting for a freaking spot over here, even though it's over here. Like, I don't know what... Look at him. Look at him. He's like, excuse me, fiancé. And she's like, yeah, huh, fiancé. Love that. I'm not sleeping with your dad or anything. He. <laughs> That's literally the vibe I get over here right now. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, um, Alex just went. I did not see what she got. Can you? Can we all stop? Can we just go grab a freaking gift? All right, who's next? Apparently Moira's next. Is she gonna get something good? She got something bad. She got something bad. Hold on, no ma'am. What did you get? She got coal. <gasps> she deserved it. She deserved it. She deserved it. Santa knew. Santa knew that she's been cheating and that is not her husband's baby. She deserved that coal. Um, Dustin got an art easel, which um, would have been a really good pick for Kennedy, you know, because she's like a little bit of an artist. So I think he'll probably gift that to her. Um, Jen is hitting on Dustin. No, sir. You cannot have that one, too. Um, he got mistletoe. That's cute. Oh, Jen's leaving already? You freaking party pooper. She's leaving already. Oh, he's about to pee himself. I'm gonna drag that up again just so he doesn't leave the party to go to the bathroom. And Kennedy got a chess table. See, I literally feel like their gifts should have been swapped. Because... Yeah, like their gifts literally got mislabeled. They should have been swapped, I swear. She got a lamp, okay. Moira is not in the party anymore. That's fine. Let's see, if everyone can get just one more gift, that would be amazing. Moira got her coal and she was like, I'm done. I'm done, I don't want it. All right, Alex is leaving. Dustin got a happy flower. Okay, cute. That was a good way to pass the time. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm just waiting for this to get to zero so I can see what she decides to do. That's literally all I care about at this point. Um, Liam, why don't you come over here and use the potty and then I'll have your dad come like take care of you and feed you and everything. After you use the bathroom, you're going to come over here. Let's actually wake him up so he'll sleep tonight. Snuggle him, give him a bottle and play with him. And Kennedy, I'm going to have you come upstairs, use, take a bubble bath, and then you're just going to paint for the rest of the night just to kind of get you, like, out of the way. 
Dustin, let's have you eat some stew surprise. And then we'll go ahead and turn this off. Dustin's party was awesome, verging on epic. We love to see it, love to see it. Derek, let's have you come up here when you are finished with that. You'll take care of your little baby. All the fun stuff. Okay, your mom's got you in like just a second. Calm down. Liam, your dad's coming. I love that I just like forget about Liam half the time. <laughs> like honestly, this whole day I was like, Liam who? Like we don't have a child. Liam who? Okay, so you're just going to take a bunch of care of him, all the fun interactions, and then, girl, ignore your phone. Ignore. Sick of it. You know what I think would be really, stop. We don't want to be famous. How many celebrity points is she anyways? Two. That's so annoying. She's the only celebrity, though. I think. Okay, go ahead and put him back in his crib. And then let's try and chat with Just Justin a little bit. Let's ask him about his day, applaud his hard work. Let's actually have you come in here so you guys can, like, you know, do that in private. And then I think it'd be really funny if when this gets down to zero, Dustin and Kennedy were kind of, like, not necessarily, like, doing anything, but together, like, secretly talking or something. Um, just so, like, if Moira did decide to leave him, um, she would have to, like walk up to him and you know what I mean oh my gosh this stupid glitch again stop use the stairs and then give him food and then while you wait for him to eat you will go ahead and eat some pumpkin pie all right let's see how it's going over here another reason I can't wait for them to move is because this lot is just so glitched like why are we sitting why did we decide to sit stand your ass up Oh my god. Let's go applaud his hard work. Because you know he's a hard worker. You know he would love that. So go applaud his hard work. See, okay, they're green. They're going up. Oh, that's good. Okay, that did good. That did really, really good. Um, ask about his day. See what he says. And then we'll compliment his party. I hate this right here. That little strip right there. It's so annoying. Okay, they're doing good. They're working their way up. I don't want them to chat too much, though, because I do still want it to be, like, um, I don't know. You know what I mean? I want it to just still be um, her choice. I don't want to... I love that she got coal. I'm putting that on her bedside table. <laughs> Actually, no. They might move soon, so we're going to move it back. Um, but I'm going to have her sit and read... I'm going to have him, oh my god, I feel a coughing fit coming on. I'm going to have him work hard for a while. Okay, sorry about that. I, like I said earlier, am kind of on the tail end of a sickness, kind of recovering. Um, but I do get coughing fits, and they are not fun. And I was out of town for a wedding this weekend, and it happened. I was suppressing it so hard I was crying, but I felt a coughing fit coming on in the middle of the ceremony. It was god-awful. Okay, sorry again. I feel another one coming on, so I'm trying really hard to suppress it. A lot of times I just have to, like, swallow a bunch and then um, drink something, so I do have my coffee next to me. Okay, so I'm just having Moira read probably until Spencer pees his pants, and then we'll change his diaper, um, grab some food, and Kennedy, this bitch, she's always trying to start drama. She is always trying to start drama. I fucking can't. I cannot look at her Moira you know what Moira you're you're bigger than this be the bigger person walk away take care of your child also Derek is gonna play some actually I might just send him to bed it is 10 30 I didn't realize how late it was well no because then you're gonna get up at 5 a.m. and you're not a 5 a.m. kind of person so go play some drums until your energy is a little bit lower you're going to come out here, um, I guess have a hot dog, and then she's just going to go to bed. Cause she is she is an early rise kind of person. I could definitely see that from her. Kennedy, you need to get the F out of this room. Look at her. You went into her room that she shares with her husband, 
And you're salty. You're salty that they were in there together. She's like, oh, I can't believe while well, I'm engaged, the man that I want to be with is with his wife. Oh, how dare he? How dare he? That's literally what she was thinking. All right, and I'm actually going to send everyone to bed just because I do want Kennedy and Dustin to be like secretly talking with each other when this hits zero. So I want them to get their sleep up just a little bit before they meet up and start hanging out. Um, but I think I'm going to skip until this is almost to zero minutes and I'll see you guys then. Oh, Derek on the drums. I love it. All right, you guys, so it is one in the morning and they have both mutually known to meet in the living room. So Kennedy's gonna come over here and just kind of flirt with him. Um, and then we're gonna ask about his day, applaud his hard work. Um, we're gonna ask to be, ask for son's hand, bitch, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm sorry, but absolutely not. Um, Moira has 42 minutes before she makes that decision. And I find it kind of funny. So she has the wish to watch the stars with Dustin, which she's had for a long time. But about like 30 sim minutes ago, she got the wish to point out his flaws. So I think that might be a bad sign. You know, I think that might be almost like um, she's probably going to want to break up with him. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give him an Amoris hug, um, and then give him a kiss, and we'll just kind of see where this lands, like, time frame-wise. Come on. Ugh, why does my time do this? My time, like, gets stuck. Okay. She has not, she has seven minutes. Oh my god. All right, let's see what she chooses. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I kind of hope she chooses to divorce him. That's my hope. I don't know what'll actually happen, but that's my hope. <gasps> Justin has managed to convince Moira that the relationship will work out. No fucking way. Oh my. So Moira chose to stay. Moira chose to not tell him the baby's not his and say, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say that she told Daniel the baby was his, and Daniel dislikes children, so he was probably like, I want nothing to do with that kid, pretend it's not mine, like, we never happened. Also, he has a wife. Like, he's married and he has, um, he's married and he has a baby with his wife, so he's like, I don't even like kids, pretend it's not mine, like, I want nothing to do with you, like, don't ever speak to me again, is basically what happened, so Moira's like, well, I don't want to be a single parent, so I'm gonna stick with Dustin, and oh my god, she decided to say, so now, it's kind of Dustin's decision, um, oh, they never announced that they were engaged. They were supposed to announce that they were engaged today, and I totally forgot it about it. Um, well, we'll just pretend. We'll just pretend. <laughs> That's all I can say. We'll just pretend. Oh my god, this is freaking crazy. She decided to stay. So now what's going to happen is Dustin is not go Dustin is going to stay with her at least until Spencer is a toddler because Spencer is not going to look anything like him and it's going to kind of make him wonder, you know. Um so that's kind of my game plan right now. Oh my god, that is crazy. That is so crazy. Okay, what time do they all go to work? She goes at, she leaves at noon, he leaves at three. Okay. I think it's time to age Liam up. So what I think I'm gonna do, Sims are starting to catch on. Yeah, we, we know, we definitely know. Okay, so compliment his personality. And then I just want you guys to like make out before you go to bed. Okay. Um, ask to break up with Moira. Embrace him. Oh, oh, you better get in there before your wife wakes up from the crying baby. 
and give him a dip kiss and then she's gonna go back to bed and he's gonna get up and be like no like I was just taking care of the baby I wanted you I, I wanted you to be able to sleep through the crying baby so I was taking care of him for you so we'll snuggle give him a bottle and then snuggle again hopefully he doesn't wake up Moira and if he does hopefully it's after Dustin gets in the room Oh, Dustin, get in there. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Dustin, run. Dustin, run. You better get in there before she throws the covers back. <gasps> oh, he just made it. He just made it. She sat up and saw him walking towards the baby. He literally just made it. That is crazy. Also, tell me why he started sleeping instantly. He's like, I just cried for three seconds and now I'm going to go to bed. Okay, but anyways, I think because it is so early in the morning already, I'm going to play Thursday off camera, and then on Friday, really early Friday, we are going to have a birthday party for Liam, we are going to age him up into a child, and then probably on, <sighs> when was Spencer born? Okay, so I filmed on Wednesday, and the 24-hour thing was gone, so he was at least born, like, Monday night into Tuesday morning at the earliest. So if I age him up by Saturday, yeah, that's that's a pretty good time frame, I think. Um, so I think the next part will be Friday. We'll age Liam into a child. And then the part after that, I actually am pretty sure I wrote out what I was supposed to do. Oh no, that was my leprosy. Hehe, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so yeah, on Friday, we're going to age Liam into a child. On Saturday, we're going to age... I love that that's his uncle. I love that. Um, Saturday, we're going to age Spencer into a toddler, and then a bunch of shit is going to go down Saturday. It's also love day. So I think Saturday is when Dustin is going to realize that Spencer isn't his. He's going to secretly get a DNA test, and then he's going to confront Moira, and that's probably when they're going to break up. And then they'll either move to their new house Saturday or... Um, Sunday. So, Thursday's off camera, so in either the very end of two parts from now or the very beginning of three parts from now, they will be in their new house, which I'm super excited for. I did build it. It doesn't look amazing um, because one, I'm not a very good builder, and two, I had to make sure they had enough money to move in. So I'll give you a quick sneak peek. It's nothing crazy. Um, I didn't decorate the outside at all, just because, like I said, I wanted to make sure they have enough money. But this is the new place they're going to live, and um, I kind of, I decided how we were going to do this officially, and they're going to be living apartment style. Obviously, I had to make the apartment, um, I couldn't technically make it an apartment, you know, because... Um, then they can only be in one building. So I did it apartment style. I'll kind of break it down for you a little bit more once we get in here. But either the very end of part two, uh, the very end of two parts from now, or the very beginning of three parts from now, we will officially be here. And I am so excited to show you guys that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing. You all know the deal. And I will see your lovely lovely faces in my next video. Bye guys!